If we're gonna get a shot on this guy, we better do it right now. How's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub. We're playing Hunting Simulator 2 and today we've got the compound bow. Well, look at this thing. How about this, huh? And you know, I've honestly, whoa, that's interesting. I've honestly never used this thing, so I have, I have, uh, I really don't know what to expect. That top sight, though, is something else. Should I just... Oh, wow. Okay. So, the, uh, the top sight is not gonna be useful whatsoever. <laughs> um, okay, we have to get out to reload. I'm guessing... Like most other weapons in the game, we should probably just use the uh, center. You can see how the uh, all the other distances really don't matter. And uh, the center of the screen is aligned with this one green dot here. So I'm guessing we're just going to have to use that. Aiming a little bit higher on the back ones, but honestly not too bad. I have to keep remembering to back out so I can reload. Let's just aim straight at the middle there so we can see. A little bit lower. Okay, so it dropped a tiny bit. A tiny bit. Let's go to the, some longer range ones so we can see the difference here. I'm hoping this works. Oh yeah, these are much longer. It's uh, This is interesting. It's not letting me pull up more... Oh no, we ran out of arrows. Just like that, we ran out of arrows. Okay. Ooh, much, okay. So I did aim a little bit higher there, but we still need to aim pretty much above the target, I wanna say. Yeah, that was a good one. So I'm not sure we should have what would be really helpful, and I don't. I don't have access to any of my items in the range, but we would be able to range this. Still a little low. This should be the same distance though, so let's see here. Hmm. Still didn't get a, a, a center hit there. That is a pretty good distance though. I mean, if we picture that little black X there as the lungs, I mean... If the animal's moving, then we're really going to be in trouble, but we have to aim right about two feet above their back at this distance with the compound bow. And I mean, this is a pretty good little distance there, and when we were talking about this, I mean, if we get into range something around this area here, we can pretty much aim almost directly at it, so that's not too bad. But if we're going for a longer shot, we may have to aim above the back. Which is, which is fine. I mean, it's a compound bow. What do you expect? Um, it's a little upsetting that we're not able to really range the rest of these pins. So that's a letdown. Um, it's not very realistic. And uh, I'm not sure if I'd use the compound bow since that kind of makes it really arcadey. Um, but, you know what? It's basically a single pin sight at the moment. So let's uh, go out and try to hunt something with it, eh? All right, we are out in Pawnee Meadows right now. Let's go ahead and change our loadout here. I think we should uh, change one of these items or maybe just add the rangefinder into our fourth item here. And you can, you can, if I bring up the wheel here, you can see that we are carrying four items right now. Um, but as we get a larger backpack, we can carry more items. So at the moment, with my small backpack that you've seen many times before, I'm able to carry four items with this. Uh, two on my person and then two more because of the backpack. And so... Deer call there. Very nice. Unfortunately, there's no deer on Pawnee. Doesn't this look like a place where you'd see some mule deer? But unfortunately, just bighorn and elk. Um, we hear some ducks in the background there. Let's fast travel, because I saw something moving over here. Let's fast travel over here. Here's a bighorn. It looks like he's running away, though, so I don't think we're going to be able to get a chance at him. He, Once an animal decides to run away, they, uh, they decide to run away. First of all, Bjorn need you to stay. stay here bud and then we'll get the scent killer spray 
spray on here we'll get a little thing down in the bottom left that tells us how much uh, the scent killer is lasting I suppose and the bighorns moving this way down the meadow um, I'm guessing that these bighorn are going in the same direction though and honestly we could probably see now we have other ones over there and this is with scent killer on we are just not very hidden but Bjorn Come. Bjorn 2 I told you to stay bud stay. I'm gonna have to leave you in the cabin if you're gonna be a, a pain in the butt. You know, real life, if I hide in these weeds, I don't know. I mean, I might be hidden. Oh my god, Bjorn 2. You are killing me, bud. Okay, it's a rabbit. I see it. We can't even shoot it with this thing anyway. Oh, you are killing me, bro. Okay, we're gonna have to go back to the cabin and just put Bjorn 2 away because he's driving me bonkers. This feral hog is actually fairly close to us now. Feral, feral, fairly feral, fairly feral. But um, I'm gonna sneak up a little bit closer. Maybe anyway. Let's uh get back into this view, as I'm sure we'll need. Um, I am thinking we're gonna have to aim a little bit higher than we did on the target range. I think he's a little bit beyond that distance, but. Let's give it a try. Oh, that was so close. Oh my gosh, it literally landed right in front of him. I did that with a, uh, a turkey with a crossbow one time in real life, unfortunately. How's the weather where you're all out? I love asking about the weather because it. You know, if you answer me in the comments, I know how far in the video you made it before you stopped watching. <laughs> I wonder if we got the, um, it might be something where we'll need like the urine or something like that. I'm guessing this bighorn behind him is just going to end up going in the same direction as this dude. So this guy might pass us, but if we get close to where he walked through, we might get in pretty close for a shot on the second bighorn. Oh, yeah. No! No! There, we got one in him. Ugh. Wow, I cannot believe that. He seemed so much closer than he actually was. This is why it would be useful to uh, be able to use those different pins, because I'd be able to range them and know... I mean, at this point, I can still range them and uh, aim above their back accordingly, but here's a fox. Golly, come on. Where'd you go? I'm just barely not aiming high enough on these these guys. No, oh, he's way the freak over there now. So at this distance, I think I'm going to aim above his back about two feet. And we'll see if it works. Oh, we did get him. the uh, the elk but there is another big horn over here don't know if you can hear that the rain in the background okay here we go did get him a second time <sighs> we got two into that big horn there I don't know where they hit I mean it must have been something bad because did not do much of anything we do have four arrows left though here's our elk I think this is 
probably the one that we wounded. Getting a good look at him though. Oh, he's yellow now. Okay, we actually got a good shot on him. <gasps> we shot him too many times, but we got him down. He was actually starting to act like he was wounded right there. I'm not sure if we had to shoot him a second time or not, if he would have died. But there we go. Our first trophy with the compound bow. <laughs> oh my god. That was so much work. That was so much work. We run around everywhere trying to get... I mean, we shot a bighorn, we shot an elk. I mean... It is definitely a different style of hunting as far as, you know, you can easily run around Pawnee as my voice just totally changed tone here and uh, shoot at things with rifles. I mean, it's it's a wide open area and you can lob bullets at everything around, um, but forcing yourself to get close to things, um, that's pretty cool. And I have to say, as uh, nerve-wracking as it is to find animals in the Rocky Mountains, if you were to shoot a moose or a grizzly bear with one of these things um, in the Rocky Mountains, I mean, holy crap, you know, good on you, bro, because that would be impressive. The wind is blowing this way, so I'm thinking we're okay just until he <laughs> basically just gets right where we want him to get. Oh, he stopped. Oh, we got a great shot. Oh my god, we got a good shot. Is he gonna act wounded? Doesn't act wounded. Oh, that was right on, though. That was right on. We got him again. We got a red X, though. Come on. We got a red X. You should be going down. Uh, that is so frustrating to put in the work and uh, you know even if we didn't shoot him off the first one oh he's he stopped we have one arrow left too he says I think something's up he's alert but he's he's still coming let's get to the top of this hill crawling oh it's back to white now he's not alert anymore he came to a stop and he said ooh I think something's up. <laughs> I feel like I definitely see a person running in front of me 50 yards away. But then he was like, nah, I guess not. He's like a guard in Skyrim or something. Arrow to the head. What was that? Oh, I don't see anyone. Must be okay. Boom! -a! Boom! -a! That was a good one. Last arrow too. And we had too many shots, but hey, what can you say about that? Okay, so we've, you know, we've murdered <laughs> two different animals with uh, multiple arrows now. Let's finally do do one correctly, you know, without getting a fine for $250 because we put so many arrows into his body. Let's, uh, let's go out and get something with with one or two arrows you know there's a female but we can't hunt female females unfortunately oh how about that when we uh when we got the bighorn it actually gave our our arrows back now i appreciate that i really do that's a good size elk too i mean for this game let's try to stay a good ways away from him so we can sprint in front of him all right should be able to see there he is. Oh, yeah. No! Uh, seriously. There's another good one, but why are you running, bro? Okay. Let's just lay down. And we'll wait a bit. Oh, <laughs> there's a puma over there. I was like, holy crap, that was quite a little growl. Well, I do think this is the closest I've probably been to them. And maybe that means we just need to take a long shot. I don't know. Gosh dang it. Let's 
the first elk that we shot once is now heading back our way. I don't know how far this one's wide at the moment. Thinking we should be able to aim. God dang it, come on! That is the most frustrating thing in the entire freaking world. The range, the range! And maybe it's my trouble. I'm not ranging them as I'm shooting. This fox is well within range. We got a good shot on him! Oh, dude, you better freaking go down. Freaking go down. Are you kidding me? We got a red X. We got a red X. Doesn't even act like he's wounded. Jeez Louise. Just to let you all know, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but right now we are recording for 54 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, so these ones are the ones that have been running, but that other elk was right over this ridge here. So I'm hoping we can kind of keep our distance still. Oh, he's feeding. <gasps> oh my god. He is at... Get an accurate read on him. 92 meters right now. He's at 54 meters. Okay, if he comes to a stop, we should be able to get... Oh god, he is acting like he knows something that's up. <sighs> Come on, that was a good shot. Got a second shot in him. Freaking pulled the arrow back. Goodness gracious. <gasps> oh, so we've... Okay, so that's interesting. When they make a call, it actually tells you the distance. So, at that point that it called... Like, this one behind it is 74, 73, 72 meters away. That is interesting. 50 meters, okay. We're gonna go ahead and take a shot on this guy. <gasps> we got a really good shot on him. Oh, really good shot on him. That was right in the lungs. Oh my god, he's wounded. <gasps> Dude! Yes! Oh my freaking god. Finally. 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 A bighorn sheep is the one we get. And it's so frustrating because there's only one size of arrows. So it's like we got a lung shot on this bighorn. But this is the same arrow that's supposed to also take out a fox, or an elk. And it's like, okay... Did they do the same amount of damage to all of them? Because it brought down that bighorn pretty well. We shot that fox and got a red X, but for some reason it didn't like that. And then uh, we shot multiple elk, but we never really did get... I mean, we did... we got a red X on one of them, didn't we? So, final review... <laughs> final review of the compound bow. Um, absolutely frustrating. Um, you know, you'd think, first of all, they give you all of these pins, but only one is usable. You could probably use this bottom one if the animal was maybe, what, 75 yards out, maybe? You could probably use that bottom one, maybe? Um, other than that, I mean, you might as well just aim straight out with this this pin right here. You could easily make this a a single pin bow. You might as well because there's no point if to having all of these. It's just decoration and it covers up your view with all of these pins when you're only going to use one of them anyway. So that's my recommendation. Scrap this bow sight. There's no point to it. Go to a single pin um, and then the the arrows I'm not sure what to do with the arrows. Maybe in the full game there's going to be different sizes of arrows, but at the moment there's only one arrow. 
and uh, you just use it for everything. So take that as what it may be. Um, but yeah, there's no way of ranging. Um, you know, I assume off of practice that 50 yards is basically where I should aim about two feet above their back. And that seems to work all right. We got a cougar in front of us now. If we're going to get a shot on this guy, we better do it right now. Freaking dropped him! Oh my god! <laughs> I tell you what, it, yeah, this thing has been beyond frustrated, and there's so many things that need to be fixed about it, um, like I've already said. But um, honestly, it's not so many things, it's just one thing. Get rid of the, the sight, it's ridiculous. Why do we need five pins when only one of them is workable or usable anyway? Um, let us use the range finder in the range so we actually know how far things are. It took me an hour and 15 minutes to uh, get used to using the, the bow and I realized that now if I aim two feet above it, I can hit 50 yards out basically. Where do we hit him? We got him in the brain. How about that? Brain shot on a cougar. And uh, that's a quick $3,700, but the compound bow, what do you think? Comment down below. I'd love to hear it. Um, this has been one heck of a hunting experience, and, uh, you know, will you be using it if you do decide to get Hunting Simulator 2? Will you be using the compound bow in the future? Love to hear it, and tell me what you think. There it is up in the, uh, the rack, anyway. Select the weapons here. Bows. Here we go. So this is the one we've been using anyway, out hunting. Um, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty looking bow. It's just unfortunate that the sight is basically all decoration and that only one of the pins works. So, yeah. Love to hear what you think. Comment down below. Like I said, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, the compound bow in Hunting Simulator 2. What do you think? Anyway, that ought to do it, everyone. As always, keep gaming, never stop.